At the end of last year, I decided to start to work on one of the projects which is on my long list of projects waiting to be started for a long, long time. On this list, I have projects which have been waiting to be done for years, for decades, for months. And most of these projects are not expected. You have never heard of them. Nobody expects to, to see them but me or care for them or to be anxious to see them in the flesh or in paper in that case. And this specific project which I have started has no purpose. It's not a workshop. It's not something I'm going to sell in any way. There is no other purpose but the pure joy of creating for the sake of creating. And in that case, telling a good story without any expectation for the only satisfaction and joy to have done it. And I needed that. I'm going to explain. It's a video telling a story of a forgotten character you have never heard of from the past. And I have started to work on it to do my research and tons of things at the end of the summer. There is no purpose. I'm not selling anything I'm creating for this video in paper, which I'm doing at all. Anything which is going to be part of it is not going to be sold. After this strange year, I thought a lot about my purpose, my artistic path, the things I have done since I'm a teenager. And what were my dreams at the time? Starting this project has put me back in my 15 years old self when I was creating all the time. I was drawing, sculpting, painting, using paper, fabric, branches, anything for nobody and for no purpose. Internet was not around. I had no spectators. I no, had no social media to use or anything like that. Most of the things I've done, only family members, a couple of friends have seen it, sometimes nobody at all. But I was addicted to the joy of creating and trying new things without any expectations. And I missed that. I'm a professional artist. As a grown-up, I decided to turn my life, making all this passion, these hobbies into my, my job and my, my life, really. And I love that. But I missed the no purpose thing in this teenager's project I was doing. I'm grateful to be able to sell my art, to take part to beautiful exhibitions, to do workshops, all of these things. Still, I think it's quite necessary now in my life, I feel it really to make time for side projects, things which are completely new that nobody wants to see necessarily, but I want to do and I want to see how it could turn out. I'm excited to see how this new project I'm working on, how it's going to turn out. I have no idea. I have never done any anything even close from that. So it's really exciting. I think there is a very dangerous slope for any creators, artists, writers, musician to repeat ourselves over and over and over and to stay locked in the comfort zone and satisfy satisfy clients and forgetting really the purpose of all that. This fall, I felt the need and the necessity to make time, no matter what, for these joyful, totally personal projects, which are important too, because the thing is, I feel they will be the ones I will deeply regret not to have done later in my life. And this, I really feel it. Life is short. We don't know when it's going to end for us. So waiting forever to start something, I think is, is very dangerous. This project, small or big, which might not be interesting for everyone, maybe only for me, who knows, they need to be done. And truth is, I always procrastinated these past years on this project, telling myself, I don't have the time right now, it's too overwhelming, there's too much to do, I have to do my art for my shop, working for this workshop, that workshop, working for this client. There is always a good excuse and there will always be one. These projects are too big, too overwhelming, too long to do, take too much time, I don't have the space for it, any excuse would do. But this is not the truth. There is always a way, a solution to find to make it work, even if it's baby steps every day, every week. And for this project, this video, it included tons of research, tons of reading, writing, a lot of writing, some decors, creating characters to do, um, a lot of paper art to create, also some filming, some recording. And I decided I would do a bit of all that every day. Sometimes half an hour, sometimes an afternoon, sometimes a full day. All these, all these things I need to do to, to accomplish this project. At the end of the day or sometimes in the morning. It depends. I don't have really something really specific here. It changes every day. But to do it and to keep doing it every day. Not missing one day. So far I've been good. And I've always worked a bit of it, on it every day. 
And maybe with this very strange, difficult year we had, I had a very difficult autumn too, which made me think a lot about my projects and my, my, my real purpose in this world. And with time flying, all that, I decided it was time to start to work on this project. As it's a long project, I've decided to divide it in several parts, probably three parts, I'm not entirely sure telling this story. Probably end of January, beginning of February, end of February, I'm not entirely sure, but you are going to see the updates on that. And I'm excited to show it to you. I hope I have inspired you to work back on your procrastinated project, things you have stopped doing and you should go back to. And maybe finding a way not to feel too guilty about that, because in my case, I need to work also on my art. I can't work on my side projects all day long, but there is a way we can make it work in our own schedule. So I hope you have been inspired here and I will see you very soon.